Kadu, and I work as an HIT officer in the Auditor Memorial Hospital for the past seven years. My name is uh, Gammachis Malkam. I am a, a Digital Health Lead Executive Officer in Ministry of Health Ethiopia. And it is a powerful platform we using in our health management system. We use it for decision making since 2017. We are using DHIS2 in all facilities, in government facilities. Currently we have implemented DHIS2 in more than uh, 3,800 health centers in about um, 400 government hospital, which is almost around 85% is covered by DHIS2. There are 37 units, also we call them data units or data pointers. We collect on paper beds. Once it's finished, we enter it into the DHIS using data entry form. Currently even we are using DHIS2 for the reporting as well as for tracking uh, programs. Mainly we are using for HMIs, which is uh, one of the large DHIS we have. But uh, besides that, we are using for HIV, we are using for malaria program, for TB program and other programs as well. And additionally, even we are using for the device management as well. We have recently started that. Before the DHIS2 was implemented, there is other uh, old systems. They're a little bit messy or a little bit vast for us to collect and uh, also to generate a report. But the DHS2, there is a couple of even maps, dashboards, pie charts, tables, uh, as you can see behind me. And also we share it for medical directors and CEOs. At different levels, the leadership has easily accessing the data of the facilities and also at facility level also the healthcare providers, the, the physicians, other stakeholders are easily entering their data, getting the reports. We get feedback from all departments. There are NCOD, some cases that are not found in the DHIS, which is also we feedback it to the ministry or the uh, regional health bureau to include it in the next uh, version or the next day choice. They also see it and they make their own decisions based on the data. The system can easily present the data since it has a number of uh, data presenting features and uh, it's very easy for the end users. We expand our emergency departments based on the data. When we see the trends, there is also upward trend. So. We just, the COs and the medical director, hospital management decided we need bigger room, bigger beds, and this is one decision we come up from the DHIS using the data. We want to scale up the DHIS to entire the country, especially on, we want to cover all private facilities to report through DHIS too. And also we want to strengthen the, the team, the developers, customize, customize our teams locally and even when to integrate other systems with DHIS2. We want to work more the interoperability area and even want to follow the version upgrade of the DHIS2. So we have a number of plans to increase or scale up the, the DHIS2 system in the country. Yeah, from our experience, uh, we have successfully implemented DHIS2 in the country. This is a good experience and also our end users, health facilities and all this, they are very interested, they are very happy with the system.